I wish I knew when I first started YouTube because if I did, it would have been game over. If you wouldn't click on that thumbnail after you finish editing, you need to run it back and do it over. It's a research tool that allows you to see what type of videos your audience, your subscribers are searching up. And I recently hit 1K subscribers on YouTube and that played a big part. Like I got so many subscribers from that video. Literally every single thing is content. The apps that I use and majority of YouTubers use are Hey guys, it's Shavoy and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. So as you guys can see by today's title, I'm going to be telling you guys how to start and grow your YouTube channel in 2023. This is a really long video, but I promise it's very informative. This is everything like I've learned throughout my years of like doing YouTube. I'm still a very like small YouTuber, but when I tell you I learned so much things like Every single thing I'm going to be telling you guys in this video is stuff I wish I knew when I first started YouTube because if I did, it would have been game over. But of course, it takes time and you learn as you grow. So I have my notes with me and I'm going to be going over a lot of things. So if you're somebody who already have a YouTube channel and you're seeing little to no progress, this video might explain why and you can pretty much apply these tips and advice that I'm going to be giving you guys. Or if you're somebody who is thinking about starting YouTube for the longest and just haven't, I'm gonna pretty much explain like how to like start and how to really grow your channel It's gonna be a long video as I said, so I'm just gonna hop right into it and not even gonna waste time So let's get into this video Okay guys, so first up we're starting with equipment. When you're first starting YouTube, you do not need a camera or for it. Like when you're first starting, you don't need a camera to start. I strongly believe in using your phone first. That's what I did. That's what majority of YouTubers do. Unless you like have storage problems or like you have bad quality on your phone. There's no reason to get a camera. Use your phone, especially because a lot of people like get a camera early on and then later on realize like YouTube isn't something they want to do, which is completely fine. If you don't want to do YouTube later on and you realize that, that's completely fine. It's nothing wrong with that. But it saves you so much money. It saves your time by just using your phone, which is extremely beginner friendly. Like I'm pretty sure everybody know how to operate their iPhone. And it's really just that simple. And I feel like when you hit a certain milestone, like maybe like 500 subscribers, 1K, that is the perfect time to get a camera if you want to like up your quality up your content all of that it's the perfect time to get a camera by that time you will already know if youtube is something you are you really do want to pursue long term so the camera would be perfect to fit into that but when you're just starting don't make it too complicated for yourself too early on. Start with your phone, which is simple and easy to use. That's what I did. The only reason I got a camera before I hit 1K was literally only because I ran out of storage on my phone and I had zero storage. Like it was no way for me to make and edit my videos on my phone. So I had to invest in a camera. But that's what I believe to each its own, of course. But as a beginner, make it make it easier for yourself. Like start with your phone and then invest in a camera when you hit a milestone. Next up, we have video ideas. If you don't know your niche, and when I say niche, I mean like a certain type of content you want to stick to. For example, tech people make tech related content. Fashion people strictly stick to like fashion content. So if you don't know specifically what you want to do, I highly recommend like doing a little bit of everything, which means that you already should already have a list of video ideas already in your notes with videos you want to do before you even start YouTube. If you're thinking about starting YouTube, already have a list of video ideas planned out what you want to do. As I said, do a little bit of everything. You can go on YouTube, you can watch a lot of videos. A lot of people already make those type of videos where they like say like a hundred video ideas that will blow up your channel. Like it is so many of those videos on YouTube. Please take advantage of that and write some of those stuff down in your notes that you are more likely to do or something that you could possibly do. Literally almost everything is on YouTube. Like you can't go wrong. It's so much of these videos that I'm making right now on YouTube as we speak. So definitely take advantage of YouTube. As I was saying, experiment, do a little bit of everything, do fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, do all of that until you reach a certain point where you realize, okay, this is the type of content that I like. Or sometimes you don't even have to have a niche. Like you can literally just make any type of content that you want to make. Like you don't have to stick to, you don't have to limit yourself to one content on YouTube. That's the good thing about it. You can do pretty much anything you want. It's a platform where 
you have the freedom to do anything for me i stick with like fashion beauty lifestyle vlogs those are just like stuff that's within like my lifestyle like stuff i like to watch myself so i'm like the perfect person to make that type of video and before i even started youtube i already knew that would be my niche that's what i want to make so i still switch it up here and there and i still might throw like a random video there but when i was first starting off i literally did a little bit of everything you can scroll down to my channel i did like styles to do with your hair i did unboxings like i just did a little bit of everything so i would definitely say do that if you're just starting off next up we have editing this is still something that is very hard you are going to struggle with editing you are going to be a little bit confused in the beginning that is perfectly fine every youtuber go through that you literally have to just find what works for you which i would highly recommend imovie it is a very beginner friendly like editing software so that's what i started with i watch a lot of tutorials on youtube once again on how to like operate imovie how to make cuts how to do pretty much everything so i started with imovie i would definitely recommend it it's super beginner friendly i later on upgraded to like CapCut just because i wanted more transitions and all of that so if you want something more advanced then I would say you can use CapCut. You can also download that on your computer now. It used to be just on your phone, but you can do that on your computer or MacBook, whatever. So I would definitely say that. But in general, like iMovie is super beginner friendly. It's easy to use and your content still comes out bomb. Background music. This is something I wish I knew more about when I was first starting. Like I didn't really know much about that. I know it was important, but I wanted like music that was trending right now. Like, like, I know you guys are probably going to want the same thing. You're going to want, like, R&B, hip-hop. If you're planning to do, like, vlogs and stuff like that. Like, I struggled with finding, like, copyright-free music. And I didn't know that you're supposed to, like, screen record it. It was just a lot that I didn't know regarding that. But you can pretty much search up copyright-free background music on YouTube. And if you find something you like, you can screen record it and then add it to your video. I know I had questions about this before. Like, someone asked me, like, how I do that. Pretty much all I do is go, I go on YouTube and then I search up, like, copyright-free background music. If I want an R&B vibe, then I will search up, like, R&B. If I want something hip-hop, I will search up hip-hop. And then a lot of options will pop up. I screen record it. And then I send it to my computer. And from there, I add it to CapCut, which is what I edit on. If you edit on your phone, it's much easier. All you have to do is screen record it and then add it to the editing software. But since I do edit on my computer, I have to, like, screen record it on my phone and then airdrop it over to my computer. And then from there... We will do that but background music is super important it's one of those things that you don't think you need but it definitely kind of makes a difference in your videos even if it's just to have something playing in the background it just makes the video so so calm and soothing like a lot of people don't even realize that it's playing but when it is gone like you definitely realize like okay this video is really really silent so i definitely think that helps especially if you're doing like vlogs and it's a lot of like montage and not really much talking background music is very very important if that's the type of videos you are doing but when it comes to making like cuts now cuts are just something you just pretty much edit stuff out that you wouldn't want to include in your video little stuff like that you don't have to always make cuts but i like to make cuts because i like my videos like a certain way i might have said something i might have repeated something twice and i want to cut that out that's also very important so that's what i would say regarding that the next thing is thumbnails okay a lot of people do not realize how important thumbnails are and i can't stress this enough your thumbnail is probably one of the most important things ever if your thumbnail is bad no one is gonna watch that you could have a perfect video if your thumbnail is bad the other thing is intro which is separate from your youtube intro like your general intro I typically like to have like intros in the beginning of my videos and I find that this really makes a difference like this makes people want to watch it when you give them like a little glimpse of what the video is gonna be about it, it really like draw people in to see okay I seen this in the intro like I want to see what that's about so they will continue watching the videos usually I would just have my general intro in the beginning and then I continue on with the video but nowadays like I do a little intro of what the video is going to be about little clips I put that together and I use CapCut for that so I usually just put that together in the beginning of the video then I have my general intro directly after that I hope that makes sense if you go on my channel and you watch some of my videos you will definitely see what I mean by that but yeah it just gives people something to look forward to it makes them curious as to what 
the rest of the video is going to be about what that's like especially if it's something that they're really interested in so i find that making intros at the beginning of your videos are really really crucial video is whack because no one is going to watch it so they will never know how good it is i say this to say make sure you put and invest a lot of time into your thumbnails if you wouldn't click on that thumbnail after you finish editing and making that thumbnail you need to run it back and do it over because yeah if you're not clicking on it best believe no one else is and if they do it's not going to be that much people so i would definitely recommend like putting in a lot of time in your thumbnails which is why you should be taking pictures of everything regarding the type of video you're making if you're going out if you're going out bowling if you're going out party you need to take pictures of everything because i promise like those pictures are going to come in so handy like i remember like not taking as much pictures and literally hunting or even google for pictures of the place i went to just to have some type of thing that just to draw people attention i've seen a lot of bad thumbnails and when i'm scrolling on youtube if your thumbnail is bad i'm not going to click on the video because it's not going to make me want to watch it invest a lot of time into your thumbnails take your time make sure it's something that you would click on if it's not run it back do it again which brings me to like apps you can use to make your thumbnails the apps that I use and majority of YouTubers use are Canva, Fonto is an app where you can put the text on it which you can add like your own fonts now like a lot of creative fonts that you see on like YouTube now. You can add that from the font.com if you guys want something more detailed on that I might upload like a short so let me know but you can go on the font.com and then download those fonts that you see that's trending right now. Put it onto Fonto and you can use that so Fonto is basically just for the text on the video. Canva is more for like the pictures, putting the pictures together. I also use Photogrid, PixArt. Those are like four apps that's really essential and really does help. Like those are the only apps I use and I find myself even liking Photogrid a little more than Canva depending on the type of thumbnail I'm going towards. So yeah, those are apps that's very important. So the next thing I wanna discuss is the title of your video. Make sure your titles are really short and sweet and to the point. You don't want long titles that's dragged out. Make sure you use a lot of keywords of what you're doing. I've seen a lot of people, this is one of the biggest mistakes they made. For example, if you're going to the dog park, do not put I am going to the dog park with my dog. People are less likely to search that up, which means people are less likely to find your video. You want to put something like vlog and then maybe put dog park, brunch, or whatever else you're doing, which is really short and to the point. You don't want to put something too dragged out. That is a mistake that I see a lot of people make, which is why people are not finding your video because you're not putting keywords, you're dragging your titles out, and yeah. Please do short and sweet titles y'all use a lot of keywords and make sure you include what you're doing for the day but keep that short and sweet like i said the next thing is hashtags which goes hand in hand with like title i didn't realize like how important hashtags are like i was not using hashtags when i first started youtube like i was not including that in the description none of that i didn't think that was important at all i thought that was something that you you just stick to on like TikTok or like other social media platforms. But it is very important. It also is one of the ways that people are gonna find your video. If you put like hashtag vlog, hashtag get ready with me, and people search up vlogs and get ready with me, your video will pop up. So definitely utilize your description box and put your hashtags in there. And also make sure you put like a little like welcome message include your email and pretty much you can say also what the video is going to be about you don't have to do that that is very optional but definitely put hashtags but whatever the video is going to be about hashtag vlogs hashtag get ready with me hashtag day in the life anything like that hashtag small youtuber i see like a lot of people have been saying like those hashtags are what's blown their channel up like those content creator hashtag black girl stuff all of that so definitely utilize your description box your socials should be in there your business email should be in there like a regular description box should be there you can copy and paste that and put that under all of your videos that's what i do and sometimes i do personalize it where i do say like what the video is going to be about but if you do want something general make sure you have like one thing that you always say in your description box and you could copy and paste that for all your videos but make sure to always include your email socials hashtags and all of that good stuff. So definitely utilize your description box. But make sure to put them hashtags, y'all, because y'all will see a difference in the performance of the videos when you do that. 
the next thing I want to go over is research. Okay, so this is something that YouTube has in the YouTube studio that I've really been utilizing these past couple months. As soon as I discovered it, I was I was on it and I use it every time I'm posting a video. But it is a research tool that allows you to see what type of videos your audience, your subscribers are searching up and you can also put in topics and see how well they are doing on youtube for example you can search get ready with me and it will show you like how popular that is on youtube it will show like low medium and it will show high so if it does show high you will clearly know that that is a video that is really not trending but a video that is doing really well on youtube so it also help with like video ideas as well because I usually like search in like maybe a video that I've been thinking about doing for the longest and I search that in. It tells me if it's doing well, if it's doing like medium high or low and if it is doing high then I can say okay, that is a video that's really gonna bring in a lot of new viewers for me. So I definitely would say utilize that. I'll, I'll probably include like a screen recording of exactly how I do that but you pretty much have to go on Safari or you could do it on your computer but you cannot do it on the YouTube Studio app itself. So I do find that super handy and it also helps with how I title my videos as well. If I do put in a title that I've been thinking about, for example, if I put in like vlog or get ready with me and I see that's doing like high compared to others that's doing medium low, I will usually go with that title. So I really utilize that and I would highly recommend that so i usually go on youtube and i search up the title that i'm thinking about putting for my video and i scroll and i see which creators are doing well with this title if it is a small creator which is something you definitely want to look for if a small creator like 500 subscribers or below or like under 1k is getting views like 10k 20k on this video based on using this title that's a title you need to be using for your video as well because literally titles like that tend to blow up and it tends to blow your channel up so that video will do really good of course like bigger creators are going to already have a lot of views but if smaller creators are getting those views too then it's obviously something that is doing really good on youtube so if you do that yourself your videos are more likely to reach a bigger audience so i would definitely recommend once again utilizing youtube for research and stuff like that but the YouTube studio app really does help so make sure you guys really focus on that the next thing I'm going to touch on is promoting make sure you always promote your channel because people are always watching I know it might seem like nobody care nobody's watching but trust me people are all ways watching so promote 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 every time you drop a new video you need to be posting that video on every one of your platforms that you're active on it needs to be going on your Instagram story your Snapchat story your Facebook story everything you're active even WhatsApp yeah <laughs> even what's that because i do that too but make sure you are promoting your channel all the time especially on tiktok tiktok is a great way to promote your channel now because there's so many youtubers on tiktok that are upcoming tiktok is where it's at like if i knew that back then like best believe i would have been promoted every single day because so much people on there doing the same thing like people are literally it's easier for people to find you that way but always promoting every single one of your platforms do not miss promoting at all especially when you drop a new video you don't have to promote every single day but make sure you are always promoting your channel make sure you, your audience on whatever platform you're on make sure they know you have a youtube they should know you have a youtube it should not be a secret they should know because they should be seeing you posting on your story so make sure to always promote your channel y'all and sometimes you can even post your progress like you can post how like you're doing like when you hit like a certain monster on 500 1000 like little stuff like that i know like i have an instagram highlight where i put like my youtube journey from when i first started like i make a highlight itself when i first started and i added to it as time goes by like some of it goes years back because i've been at it on it since i started youtube first so you can do little stuff like that too of course that's optional but that's just my way of making it known that I have a YouTube channel so if anybody click on my Instagram page they're gonna see a highlight and it's gonna be dedicated towards YouTube I also have subscribed to my YouTube in my bio little stuff like that y'all it really helps people find your channel and it really does help you grow so promote 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 I don't care if people is tired of seeing it they're gonna have to be tired of seeing it like i'll be feeling like that now which is why it, promoting is something i need to work on too because i'll be feeling like damn like i keep posting the same thing over and over and over again well you're gonna see it as long as you follow me you're gonna see it <laughs> so either you want to unfollow me or what but i'm gonna promote my channel the next step i want to touch on is support and trends trends is one of them things on youtube where 
you might not want to go with every single trend but i promise you, you're going to want to utilize that like that is the easiest way to grow your channel like hygiene shopping videos are trending right now you need to hop on that wave like I was saying like, oh, it's nerve wracking to go and target, it's nerve wracking to record this and that, but I did my hygiene shopping video and that video has 6.6K right now. I recently hit 1K subscribers on YouTube and that played a big part. Like I got so many subscribers from that video. I say this to say like, you don't have to stick with every single trend. You don't have to make videos on every single trend, but you need to be hopping on them trends because that's one of the quickest ways to grow YouTube channel. Maintenance vlogs, summer days in my life, little stuff like that. It's always trending, but you have to also be active on YouTube as well. If you're not a person who watch YouTube, like it's gonna be hard for you to know these stuff are trending. I literally be on YouTube all the time and I think with like a creative mindset. Like I watch people videos and I see like, okay, this video did good on their page and they have less than 1K subscribers. Best believe I'm gonna hop on that trend and I'm gonna do that. But you're gonna know what's trending on YouTube. You're gonna always see it, like always. So make sure you are active on YouTube if you wanna be a YouTuber. Like that's one of the keys too. Like you can't say you wanna be a YouTuber and then you watch YouTube like once a week. You sure? Like you sure you wanna be a YouTuber? Because me personally, like I was always on YouTube. Like I was always on there just watching people. So I I just knew little little stuff already. But make sure to hop on them trends, yeah. It's one of the quickest way to grow YouTube channel. Of course, you can stay true to yourself and hop on trends as well. Make it your own. Do your own thing with it. But make sure you stick into them trends. That's gonna get you them views. Something that is trending though that I do wanna say, like really stay away from and sub for sub. Why are we still doing that? Like, I know that a lot of people have their thoughts. A lot of people like it, but I personally would not recommend Sub for Sub. It is not a genuine way to gain subscribers and people will unsubscribe to you based on that. Especially if you're promoted on TikTok, you're gonna get a lot of Sub for Subs in the comments. Trust me, and I literally hate them so much because it's kind of just like, they did they will subscribe to you don't get me wrong like i've done it which is why i'm basically speaking from experience they will subscribe to you but what happens is that they're not going to watch your videos or when you subscribe back to them later on they are going to unsubscribe from you that is not genuine that is not how you want to gain support that is not how you want to gain your subscribers you want people to naturally find you and gravitate to you and like your content which is why they decide to subscribe to you do not just be subscribing to random people out here just because you want the support. And sub for sub is literally like an easy way out, y'all. Some people just want that subscribe account. They want the numbers. And trust me, the numbers matter. But when you get too caught up in the numbers, that's usually when things go downhill. Literally leave your YouTube alone and watch it do its thing. Promote, do everything that you're supposed to do, but leave it alone and watch it do what it's supposed to do. And it hits so much different when you know like people literally naturally found your channel and genuinely disliked you and subscribed to you compared to when you're asking people in your comments to subscribe to you and they'll subscribe back. Don't do it y'all, like don't do it. Speaking from experience, it doesn't work. Let people find you naturally and let your subscribers be genuine. Not people that you literally just got to subscribe to you because y'all yeah, decided to do sub for sub and support one another. The people that usually do that are still the people that literally, they don't support you. Once you subscribe to them, they're unsubscribing from you and that's it. You will never even know too if they unsubscribe or not y'all. So I would definitely recommend staying away from trends like sub for sub. As I said, trends is good, but trends can also be very bad. I just gave basically two prime examples of that. Sub for sub, wouldn't recommend, but I do recommend sticking to stuff that's trending on YouTube if you're a beginner and you wanna grow your YouTube channel. Like as I said, experiment with a little bit of everything. So that's the perfect way for you to experiment. Do a little bit of everything. If that's something that you're not into though, don't force it, but it is an easy way to grow your channel. And I know support is a big thing, y'all, but trust me, a lot of your family and friends are not gonna support you and that's 100% fine. But if anything, do not get discouraged. Please let that be your motivation and keep going and let people who find you and like you, let that be your people. Like, don't force it on anyone. One thing I never did was this relates to like promoting. I never did really promote like that because I don't like forcing things on people. I wanted people to naturally find me. I wanted people to naturally like me and what I bring. I didn't want to be telling everybody, oh, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel. If you see that I have a channel and you did not subscribe to me and you see me promoting it, my content and everything I bring is clearly just not for you. Like, the next thing I want to touch on and the final thing is consistency and discipline. This is probably one of the most important part in general. Like, 
this is what's really gonna get your channel to the next level if you're not consistent on youtube i'm pretty sure we all know how that goes like if you take months off and then come back no you don't want to have a platform with just subscribers and little to no views and that happens when you're not consistent you will gain all these don't get me wrong you'll gain the subscribers but the minute you are not consistent you disappear for months and come back it really makes a difference in your channel if you have genuine supporters and people who are really active on youtube of course they're going to still be around but most of the time if you don't post the content for a long period of time people will unsubscribe and people do not like that type of thing so definitely stay consistent y'all if anything i would say definitely have a schedule at least have a goal like okay i'm gonna post one time a week two times a week three times a week i will literally aim for one time a week when you're first starting off because that's usually like a more simple goal i even struggle with that till this day and i've been doing youtube for like two years now so definitely i understand trust me but i would definitely say like one video a week is like the most simple way to put it and it's one of the easiest goals to reach so don't do too much too soon like do aim for the three times a week and two times a week if you got the time on your hands but to make it really simple and easy for you one video a week is a good way to start off like i do want to say like consistency and discipline goes hand in hand because you have to do this even on the days that you do especially on the days that you don't want to do this i was just telling a friend this the other day he was telling me about his youtube channel so i'm like even the days that you don't want to do this those are the days you need to get up and do it because if you sit down and say okay i'm not gonna do this every day you feel like you don't want to do it or anytime you're not in the mood you're not gonna get anything done at all like you know how much times i'm not in the mood and i still have to do it because it's something like i want it bad enough you have to want it bad enough if you don't want it bad enough it's your youtube channel is not gonna get far you gotta want it y'all like i always i always say this this is something like i can't emphasize enough you have to want it bad enough like people ask me oh how are you so active when you i'm not even that active to begin with but i want it bad enough to be as active as i am right now i'm not even at my best yet like this is not i want to take it way more than one videos a week or one videos every two weeks I need to be putting out like three videos a week like i want to go so much further like people telling me like i'm doing good and stuff like i do acknowledge that i am doing good but i can do so much more and i need to be doing so much more so definitely acknowledge your accomplishment but know that you can always do more at the end of the day and the last tip i would say is everything is content like that is something like i'm emphasizing so much in this chapter of my life because i be thinking like okay I'm just running to the supermarket like that doesn't matter that's not important nobody want to see that but literally every single thing is content so always remember that even if you just run in even if you just go into the mall content everything is content y'all like I know like of course not everything is supposed to be on camera and you guys know what shouldn't be on camera and sh what should but everything is content and everything can later on be used even if it's for TikTok, whatever don't think your life isn't aesthetic enough or your life is too boring. Even if your life is too boring, you can find content in the boring, which is why I say everything is content. I know a lot of people say like, oh, my life is boring. Like, I can't do YouTube. I don't have anything to record. Like, even the boring. Sometimes people want to see the boring. Like, you know, like just anything you're doing, like at all. But that's pretty much the last tip I have for you guys. I hope this video was very informative. I hope it helped you on your journey or if you're thinking about starting a youtube i really hope this helped like these are stuff like i wish i knew like years ago when i was just starting of course i'm going to learn more as i go by as i said i am still a small creator i am still a small youtuber so i have a lot more work to do i have a lot more things to learn but i'm going to keep you guys updated as time goes by so if it is something in this video that i didn't explain too well or i worded it wrong y'all were just confused about it please comment it below and i will try to explain it further for you guys it was a lot of information so i really had to like squeeze a little bit of everything inside of here so definitely bear with me on that part but comment down below and i will definitely explain everything for you guys whatever questions you have so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like this video and subscribe to me if you haven't already and start that youtube channel today do not wait until next year do not wait for a next a new month like start today like the earlier the better y'all and i wish you guys so much blessings and i really hope y'all succeed with your youtube channel so i will catch you guys in my next video